What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Okay, folks. I'm back again. It's been a while. It's been like, uh, what, maybe six or seven months or so, maybe longer, that I, that I have done a video or something. But today I want to talk about, um, what I want to talk about is uh, dating. And how it's still the same right now, old, same old as we're going. I prefer, and this is how it's going to be. As far as a single man goes, and uh, and I can even break it down into black men, which I probably will. But as far as my opinion goes, as for young men, hold back on the dating game. Don't, I mean, don't jump in a relationship right now unless you want to. Let's be perfectly clear. Unless you want a relationship jump into it. Know, young man, that you are a rarity to these women. If you have your, and I won't go specifically to black men, because that's what I'm talking to right now. If you're a black man in this world, you have it made. If you have your shit together, let me get this straight. If you have all your shit together, you're a diamond in the rough, brother. And this is, this is what uh, black women are starting to find out, because now they're seeing how there really is in the real world. They're a little, and, and what they'll do is, and I'm gonna give you a little brief overview of what they'll try to do to get you to date them. They'll get you to try to sh they'll try to shame you. Oh, uh, your mammy's black. They'll say, oh, you can't handle me. Which number one, I don't handle, I don't handle uh, people. I handle animals. I handle things that are dangerous to me. And I get them far away from me. So if you say I can't handle you, yes, you're like nuclear waste. I don't like to handle that. That can kill me. So if somebody says that, they could probably kill you. As far as women wise, and a lot of these women are stuck in the '90s, like in my, especially the women of my age, like I'm 48, I'll be 48, and a lot of these women don't want to come out of that '90s. In the '90s, let me explain this to you, a lot of you guys, and a lot of you guys should know this. In the '90s, a lot of us that had our shit together back then, there was a lot more guys who had their shit together, by hook or by crook, and so there was a lot of there was a lot of good-looking women. But the ratio was kind of in their favor. So guys back then were competing to get the women. And the guys were flossing, as they say. You were doing what you had to do. Like, if you took a chick out, you would take her, like, maybe maybe it was a chick you really liked. So maybe there's another chick. Maybe she liked you, but she wanted you to so you, you can impress her. We were on that. But then I was like, look, man, I'm about my money because I was setting myself up for now. But I'll say future back then. And what it was is, I did it too. I was up until about, I want to say, 24, 25. That's when the older guys hit me the game, and it was been things have changed since, and it's never been the same. But in the 90s, women had it, had it good, and they were taking advantage of it. They were going to steak dinners. I mean, and these were, and like, I wasn't taking, like, these were like the ugly chicks were having it good too. I mean, I was getting, I, I was in the seven up club. All minds were sevens and up. But even the ugly chicks had it right, it's nice, because you had, you know, even simps were, simps were by and large, that wasn't simping. In the 90s, it was you were competing. Now, let's fast forward this to now. The women do not have it like they think they have it now. If you're a guy, and let me explain to you, if you, like I said, if you have your shit together, you're a diamond in the rough. Quit selling for all these beat up looking chicks. Quit selling for all these chicks with kids to different dudes. Just take care of you and yours. You can do that now. I mean, that's what I'm doing. My child support's over. And I'm handling my business. I mean, but when a chick comes to me and says, what do I got for her? I look just like you see the uh, brother Al Sharpton. When I, that's how I look at her. I keep it moving. I'm not pressed to be in a relationship. And like I said, if you, I'm not going out with some. I'm picking the chick I'm going out with. I'm chasing success. I have chased success, or what I deem to be success. And that's why that's what I tell young men to do. Because right now, these women aren't impressing me. I mean, don't forget, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of good-looking chicks, but the numbers ain't adding up in their favor, and they think they do, it does. But there's a lot of simp's out here who play the game, and they're afraid. So yeah, they'll lock they'll lock them up, and then women get mad because 
they're mad because they went with a simp or to get it with a deadbeat. And then they want to brag about or talk them down. I'm like, let me tell you, ladies, something. Once you have a kid or two to a deadbeat, you're, you're, not, you're not a value to a guy with his shit together. You're not a winner. If you have a, if like, cause here's how the, here's how we're viewing it as. First of all, that, look at Tom. We're like, you got me fucked up. Cause why would I want a chick that has mobile kids to a dude? Cause number one, when I go in that situation, I'm not gonna be fighting no dudes. Not at this age. It's like it ain't worth it. Cause that's what they try to get you on that bullshit. So I like my dating scene now, drama free. And like I can see if you were married. And had the kids, and then you went into a relationship, but didn't have any kids. I, I would be like case by case basis, but I'm talking about overall. If you're a chick with multiple kids, with multiple dudes, I don't care how good you look. You ain't. We ain't dating. No, we can we can negotiate on other things, but we're not dating. That's for damn sure. But as far as I want a chick, and I, I and I can find them. I just got to look. I just haven't been looking lately. I want a chick that has maybe one kid, maybe. If she has none, that'll be perfect. But that's what I'm shooting for, and that's what I want. I'm not I'm like I'm not going after these beat up chicks or chicks whose who, who mentalities are stuck in the '90s, and, and but their bodies ain't their bodies are progressed to the 2020s. I mean, come on now. If they wearing spandex and putting their stomach in it, nah, you good over here. Go somewhere else. But like a lot of you dudes need to chase your success first because let me put it to you this way. If you don't chase it, she really, unless, unless she's a go-getter and a, you know, unless she's a down chick, she's not going to help you get your success. You're going to have to get your success. And if she helps you, then she's going to play the well, I had to do it for you. You're not much of a man game. A lot of you guys are letting these women control you. A lot of you guys are letting these women beat you down. And order, and and now a lot of you guys are acting just like these fucking bitches anyway. So let's 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 just cut that out. All you simp's. Then now you got the well, and 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 let me tell you something. A lot of you guys are listening to when they say, "Well, real man." Well, hold on, listen up. How are you gonna tell me what a real man is when you got more kids, more guys, and can find a real man? That's the question you should be asking her. And I know a lot of you guys seen this from your mom, and you all get defensive, and you all want to cry and whine. But don't get mad at me. Get mad at the facts. The facts are that you're mostly a simp. You're, and your mom, can, your mom can't teach you to be a man. Only a man can show you the ways of being a man. And a lot of your moms were like, well, well your dad was no good, so I ain't going to show you no men, and I hate the men's world. And a lot of you guys adapted that rhetoric. So now, you know, you're paying for it. And a lot of these women are finally saying, look, man, hey, women are like, you know, where you else you going to go? Look, I got a passport. I can travel. It don't matter to me. You know, they go, oh, you going to leave the country to find yourself a woman? That's lame. My happiness is all that matters to me. Fuck what you think. That's about it. If I, if I choose to do that, if it makes me happy, why do you care? You had your shot. You should have stepped up. If you don't step up, it is what it is. So, young men, chase your success. Don't chase, or, or like I said, don't chase chicks, chase checks. All right, now, you guys have a good one. And uh, I won't try to make more videos, but I'm busy, so peace.